Welcome to my channel, INTJ Island. Today, I'm going to talk about a cold INTJ lover. INTJs are sometimes viewed as being thoughtless, uncaring jerks. When an INTJ is confronted by a wife who is weeping, as I have been many times, because she is devastated by something someone said to her or did to her, the INTJ's first reaction is to analyze how it happened and to look for ways to fix the problem, whether it is looking for redress or how to prevent it from reoccurring. However, a feeling type probably will be offended by what appears to be a cold INTJ reaction. Where is the caring? Where is the sympathy? Doesn't he care? Why is he so cold? A complete disconnect can exist between couples like this. Even though an INTJ cares that his wife is upset, and he cares very deeply, he is unable to crawl inside the pain and share it. When an INTJ cares, he acts to fix things and provide solutions. But this makes the feeler think she is looking at a machine who has no feelings, simply because he can't share her pain. This sounds like a mess, and it truly can be one. So, how can it be resolved? Start with communication. The only way two people can understand each other in a deep and significant way is through communication. And, like revenge, communication is a dish that is best served cold. Discuss this when tempers are low and emotions are down. As you are talking, make sure that you listen to every word your partner is saying. Pro tip. Don't be working on your reply in your head while your partner is speaking. Give what is being said the same level of importance as your partner does. Also, be aware that even before you start, you should know that your perspectives will be utterly different and probably will remain so. This is hard to accept, but things will be easier once you do. What the two of you are actually searching for is a behavior path for each of you to walk that works for your relationship. You each have your own needs and wants, and you will hunt for ways to have those filled for both of you. Some suggestions I have for the INTJ. When confronted with a partner who is upset, learn to wait. Be patient with your partner. Let her share her experience and how it makes her feel. What is being shared will often appear to be incomprehensible. And even worse, you may instantly see a way to solve the problem. But don't you dare do it. Wait and listen, and demonstrate that you are listening by inserting verbal indicators occasionally. You love this person, so you are personally distressed over her sadness or anger. Perhaps a hug and a, it'll be okay, or I'm sorry that happened, would be appropriate. She wants you to share her pain and essentially to validate it as being truly important. Now here's a key point. To her, her feelings about what happened are the primary aspect of the entire event, not the event itself. So when you try to fix the issues associated with the event, which naturally will be your first knee-jerk reaction, you are bypassing or invalidating the most important part. I know this seems irrational to you. In fact, it is, because her feelings are based upon emotions, not reason. You have to understand this even though you cannot understand the emotions themselves. Now for the other side, the feeler who is in love with an INTJ. Remember that when an INTJ is in love, he is in all the way. He has pushed all his chips into the pot and is holding nothing back. He does care about you and he does feel deeply for you. However, even though he loves deeply, he will express his love in ways you may not understand. He is eager to solve your problems. He is eager to do things for you that he feels will make you happy and comfortable. His love is expressed in actions that are often well thought out and planned. This method of expressing love can appear to be detached, cold, and calculating to your passionate, emotional picture of romance. But please know that it is not. Every act of problem-solving or life-enhancing activity flows from an adoring heart and is intended to show just how much you are truly loved. Please keep in mind that INTJs are inept in almost all things social, including how to express love in the way you might expect from others. Here is an analogy that might help to convey this idea. My wife is unfortunately tone deaf, and she can't carry a tune in a bucket. When she sings, she unintentionally changes keys several times within a single verse or chorus. 
but that doesn't alter the fact that she loves music. Inside, her heart soars with a beautiful melody contained in a wonderful piece of music. She would love to be able to express that amazing feeling of joy through singing. Because I know her so well, I understand this, and because I love her, I enjoy listening to her make a joyful noise, no matter how unorthodox it would sound to others. I see past the airs and sour notes created by erratic direction changes and look into that beautiful heart where the music, that perfect melody, lives. My hope is to help those who love an INTJ to see past the apparently cold, calculating machine who performs what appear to be nearly mechanical acts of love into the heart where true love lives and thrives. We are indeed emotionally tone deaf, but we still have a beautiful love song inside of us just for you. If you enjoyed the video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do. If you click on the bell, you will also receive notifications when I put up a new video. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.